So the minute's applause over, and now it's the Rooks versus the Kays. Lewis versus King Kingstonian finds himself on the bench this afternoon. Vint just put under a tiny bit of pressure. Elliot too, and Kingstonian have a positive opportunity here through their number 10. It's then struck from distance, and it's still alive here in the penalty area for Lewis. It's spread to that back post. Weldale playing it into Ming, and Lewis luckily get it forward, but warning signs shown from Kingstonian. And finding Soblier, but he loses the ball in the middle of the park. And this provides an opportunity for Desane to come forward as he tests Harvey. Harvey not needed to make the save as it goes beyond his post. Here's Kalala breaking into the box for King Lewis. Straight to the keeper, but it was a curling effort. Lofts it out to Ogunteo on this left-hand side. He's in plenty of room. Regragui is on to him, but he'll switch it nicely out to Ming on that right-hand side. Welkdale with a clever touch to take it past his man. Still Welkdale as he strikes it from range. Doesn't get any real connection onto that. It really build something for next season. That's a lovely pass picked out to Corbin. Testing Nathan Harvey at his near post. Kingstonian have their first corner of the afternoon. And Lewis with an opportunity. And it'll fall to Marcus Soblia. Tight angle to work with. He lofts it towards that back post. Weldale's there. And it looked like he was in the back of the net. Kalala didn't hit the back of the net, but looked like it could have been a goal. And it is a free kick as Ronnie Vint was fouled just outside the penalty area. Shooting range this time. And it will be Ogawamidi over the frame. Never troubling Dominic, but he had the power on it from Ogawamidi, generated from his left foot. From his man, but stays on his feet. Now Kalala on this left-hand side, poking it to Ogateo, who bursts into the box and then threads a ball towards that back post. Soblia from outside the penalty area. The block was there, made from Kingstonian, and it will be a Lewis corner on this near side. Chance to put in a ball to try and open up the scoring. Hits the roof of the net. Dominic, the goalkeeper, had his right arm stretched to try and prevent it from going into the goal. But drives forward, trying to find Soblia. Figueroa is trying to make a run in behind. And this is well worked by Kingstonian as they managed to win that second ball. And it's testing Nathan Harvey, who comes down low. Short once again. Kingstonian on that left-hand side. It's, it's a lovely back heel towards Adienki. And then it's cleared off the line, just like Kingstonian. Kingstonian now coming forward, looking to try and break into their half. And they do so as Adienki gets the better of Soblia. He's got green space in front of him. Had time to tee up an effort, but it was well wide of Harvey's goal, never troubling the Lewis shot stopper. German's throw is intercepted by Penny. So he looks up and plays it in field to Welpdale, who drives it past Sidwell. Commanding run here from Welpdale. Can he finish it off? Shout is to shoot, and it's over the crossbar. When he was down and Chris Welpdale earlier on in the first half, he both picked up a knock, but Lewis come forward here late on. Can they get a late goal in this first half? Kalala with another effort, another curling one too. And Sobley, a sloppy pass, tried to switch it out to that right-hand side, fell straight to a Kingstonian player. Here's Desane, who had an effort in the first opener. He has another chance to try and open the scoring, but this time it's well over. Pan, as they said, it encompasses everything you want in an away day, which is always lovely to hear. Figueroa putting the ball into a dangerous area. Meanwhile, all of that was being said. Lewis now find themselves with the ball in the Kingstonian half as Ogunwamini has Lewis's first strike of the second 45 and the first corner. Or than they have done before. Usually Vint and Elliot like to see a lot of the ball as they play out from the back, but Russell has even said that they've tried to play it long on more occasions than before. Ogunwamini to Figueroa, 1-0! Out of nowhere, Lewis opened the scoring in this second half. Ogunwamini linking up with Figueroa. 
who gets his second goal for the Rooks. His fourth of the season in all competitions. Scored late on at Canvey. After making his home debut against Whitehawk on Bank Holiday Monday. Oga Wamedy with another time, with another go. It was low this time. Falls out to Calvin Lombombo Kalala. Back to Oga Wamedy in the penalty area. Cuts it on to his right. Threads it back with his right foot. Headed goalwards, but beyond the target. It will be a Kingstonian goal kick. Out to this left-hand side as Vint is underneath that free kick. But it falls kindly to Adiinka. Now Dasane as he opens up some room. Dasane forcing the save from Nathan Harvey. The closest Dasane has got to goal all game. Allows Dasane to spray a ball out to Francis Adiinka. This is an opportunity again for Kingstonian. Adiinka! It's a goal kick, but he managed to turn it around. Jay Kelly at... That throw straight to Ming as Dusain doesn't give up, but he ends up getting the ball and he opens up some room just outside the D. Dasane struck low from Bacicci. Harvey coming down low, but a scuffed effort there from Kingstonian's number eight. Another driving run forward here from Kingstonian as it's Eddie Dasane once again. Looked like he was going to fancy a shot, but instead he plays it out to Adi Inka. He does fancy a shot and it stings the palms of Nathan Harvey. Into Gonda, but he had Mason in the back of him. Just pushing him away, Ryan Gonda, but that's a lovely ball from Ming played to Vint as Gonda finds himself with the ball on this right-hand side. Back to Vint. Can he finish off the move? Wow! Ronnie Vint starting off the move, finishing off the move and making it two. A lovely goal from the centre half. As he played it to Ming, Ming then found Vint in some room. He was playing like a central midfielder, played it into Gonda, back to Vint. And then Vint in the penalty area, fizzing it in like an arrow to that top left corner on the white line. Pritchard plays it short to Ogawamini. Does he fancy a goal? Whoa. Just wide of that far post. Evening for the rearranged fixture against Horsham. Figueroa into Ogawamini. Strikes it. Ooh, close again from Ogawamini. This time on that far side. Open up some room to spray out a lovely switch to that far side. Corbin with a good run infield. Back to Dasane. Can they get a goal, Kingstonian? They can! And it's their fullback, Jude Mason, at the near post, who rolls it home to half the deficit. Can we see a late comeback here from the Kays like we've seen at the pan before? And Lewis now, after having that breathing space provided by Ronnie Vint, no longer have that as Jude Mason slotted it home and more argy-bargy going on on the far side this time. Down the Lewis left side of the attack and it is a red card. Pulls to Olakoga after that header and Lewis managed to see the game through. Ronnie Vint made it 2-0 but then of course Jude Mason, the fullback for Kingstonian, was there at the near post for Kingstonian to slot it home, but that was not enough for the Kays, and it's now five defeats in a row. It ends here, Lewis two, Kingstonian one.